Hey, Jump Jump. He is the balancing St. Bernard. And guess what he's balancing? Yeah. America. Well done. <laughs> you can argue he's done that better than I was some people. He's just jumped to the top of the presidential <laughs> he's polls right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's skyrocketing. <laughs> All right, all of us uh, dog owners, uh, you know, we've taken pictures with our pets. Some we're proud of, some we're not so much. But, oh, Ozzy. That's Ozzy Mandius, King of Kings. That's me as a young oh little lad. Oh, my God. Wow. I would not have known. Oh, wow. That, wow, You're that was so tremendous. Yeah, your um, hair was a little lighter You're than blondie. That. It was. Yeah, it, gets, yeah. it gets light in the summer. But America doesn't really care and about you were, it. You, actually, you were small at one time. I, well, well, I was sort of wee. Okay, <laughs> awkward family photos. They are back. Uh, Dan Harris caught up with the new pet edition. It is uh, priceless. You're going to want to see all of it. And you guys? Everybody's heard the old saw about not judging a book by its cover. But this cover photo pretty much tells you everything you need to know about this new book called Awkward Family Pet Photos. There are dogs in costumes, dogs with stogies, dogs being lovingly strangled, dogs in funny outerwear, and dogs contemplating the infinite universe alongside their owners. There are cats too, cats looking peeved, cats kissing babies, cats being manhandled by babies, and cats being held awkwardly in, what is this, outer space? All these pictures were lovingly curated by these two guys. There's a great photo of a guy who's brought his cat to visit the Easter Bunny, and the cat looks so freaked out. It's just a perfect example of kind of the lengths we go to to do things with our pets. Of course, the pets are just completely confused. One of the things that like blew us away was all the different types of pets that people have. Obviously, we know people have dogs, and they have cats, and they have birds, but then we started to get photos of people with skunks and raccoons and possums and sugar gliders. We, I didn't even know it existed. Ferrets. Uh, Farm animals are big, actually in the house. There's a great portrait of a, a family that's taken a portrait in their living room with their goat. Families with snakes, crocodiles, every lizard you can imagine. Mike Bender and Doug Chernak got their start with a website and a book of awkward family photos but they noticed that the ones with pets were the most popular. And it's a different dynamic, it's a different relationship when you talk about people and their pets. People will do anything for their pets. Anything, like put them in funny poses, in leg warmers, braids, patriotic costumes, or pose, and this one is a little bit strange, with the skeleton of a deceased pet. It isn't the pets that are awkward, it's us. You know, we're the awkward ones, we're the ones who make the situation awkward because we love our pets, you know, so much. We dress them up in outfits. We give them fancy names. We throw them elaborate birthday parties. We celebrate the holidays with them. Really? Pets are never awkward? Look what this dog is doing to this child. Or to this child. Or check out what's happening in the background of this picture. Or this picture. Of course, all of this animal behavior is easily understandable as nature's imperative. But some of the human behavior in this book like posing two dogs next to a person in a rather scary bunny suit, or putting a cougar in a crib with two children, or this deeply weird shot. Some of the human behavior here is really hard to wrap your head around. It all illustrates the depth of the love we have for our pets, even if we have a funny way of showing it.